Now from News Channel 34, Hidden History, honoring black history. Well, throughout the month of February, News Channel 34 is highlighting the contributions and hidden histories of African Americans across the country. Tonight, we travel south to Alabama to an historic stadium that once hosted some of the best black ball players in the world. A monument to America's game that has stood the test of time. There's nothing else like it left. Everything else is gone by the wayside. Before the Gray Lady broke ground, where the green monster loomed over hitters and the vines climbed the walls of Wrigley, there was Rickwood Field. Somehow or another, Rickwood Field has managed to survive. In the early days of Birmingham's steel industry, industrial titan Rick Woodward built a state-of-the-art ballpark in the shadows of Birmingham steel mills. Over a century later, Rickwood Field still stands, now America's oldest ballpark. Was he baseball crazy or was he a uh, a good businessman and the answer is he was both in the early days of the sport it was the home of birmingham baseball you know it's minor leagues have been here forever i mean this is the oldest ballpark in the country and i was lucky enough to play here for two years the barons saw future major league stars pass through their gates on the way to the show and it was the home of the birmingham black barons the juggernaut of negro league baseball in the south Th there's a lot of local people who uh, grew up here going to games with their dad and their granddad and uh, so they have an emotional attachment to the park. Through its history, close to 200 Major League Hall of Famers have played a game at Rickwood Field. Names like Wagner, Cobb, Page, and even the Babe. It's become a, a, it's become a, a, a bucket list item for a lot of true baseball nationally. And you can catch other individual stories on our Hidden History page on the BinghamtonHomePage.com. 